my name is Beth Shader. I'm a Chicago area artist. I live in Highland Park, Illinois, but I do consider myself a Chicago artist. In my works, I combine symbolism, uh, text, and realistic imagery. A lot of my work um, has a narrative kind of uh, basis to it. I also do work that deals with social engagement. So most of the current work that I'm doing has to do with um, in looking at in global warming and environmentalism. But I've worked over the years with many, many themes and tend to do bodies of work um, where I might do 20 pieces in a particular series of pieces. When I work on paper, I do work with some mixed media. Mostly I'm known as an artist who works with watercolor. I've worked with watercolor for many, many years, and uh, since about 1973 when I took a workshop in college. But I've begun in my more current work to incorporate um, collage. Sometimes I collage in actual photographs that have been printed on acrylic skins. I incorporate poetry that um, comes from colla a collaboration between uh, me and a poet from Arizona named Lois Romadili, who I met at the Ragdale Foundation. And um, I often include colored pencil, some pencil drawings, so I'm working with a, a true mixed media on the surface of paper. So the large piece that's here is called Cunis, and it was a piece that was begun in Ireland. I was an artist in residence at the Burren College of Art in Ireland in 2008, and I went there to investigate the ancient symbol of the spiral. The spiral is a symbol that has been um, around in cultures uh, since prehistory and grew up in every area of the globe kind of at the same time. And so I was curious as to why the spiral was a symbol that it is used so universally. And I really began to realize when I was in Ireland that it came very much from nature. I found there a mountaintop called um, An Moloch Moor, and it, the mountain itself was actually shaped in a spiral. And of course, ancient man also saw spirals in the galaxy, in things like the cochlea of the ear, the a fern unraveling, uh, spirals are common in nature. And so I began that piece uh, and other pieces like it by doing small works on paper while I was in Ireland. I couldn't carry that large a piece of paper. And then I came back to the States and incorporated those small works and text, poetry from Ireland, poetry from my poet, um, into larger pieces that I was able to work uh, on in a residency at the Ragdale Foundation. So I have about six or seven of those pieces from that series. It's called Away with the Fairies, which is a wonderful expression in Ireland that has to do with the idea of um, kind of madness. And that appealed to me because it, um, it just has a fanciful feeling to it, and yet there's a serious quality to it as well. I, um, involvement in the arts community is pretty wide-ranging. Um, I like to say artists wear many hats. Um, I am a studio artist. I show with galleries and museums in both the United States and abroad. But in addition to that, I do murals and have done murals since about 1973. Um, I'm involved in murals in two different ways. One is that I do commission murals for both private uh, residences and for um, businesses and in addition to that I do community-based murals where I work with participants in a community and um, so I consider myself a community artist and many times those murals deal with social engagement with social issues or the process itself um, works for social change. Um, in addition to that, I'm a curator. I'm both an independent curator um, of a large project called the Poetic Dialogue Project in which I um, bring visual artists and poets together to collabor make collaborative works of art. And I am the gallery director at Prairie State College down in Chicago Heights, Illinois.